Hi, it's Jamie from Gilbrook Farm. Let's talk about our backyard chicken breeds. This is Mushroom. She is an Easter egger. She lays blue, bluish green, and green eggs around that range. She's very curious and she likes to fly over the fence. This is Bluki. She is a black copper moran and she lays dark chocolate eggs and she is very loud and she likes to squawk. This is Temmy. She is a black Americana. She lays bright blue eggs and she is very, very sweet. So this is Maple. She is a buff Orpington she, and she lays brown eggs and she was supposed to be really friendly but she ended up not liking people and recently she got attacked by a hawk. She's okay now? Yeah, she's healing right now. And she's doing a lot better. So this is Truffle. She's a civilized swine dot. She lays brown eggs as well. And she is kind of like the boss of the flock. This is Gary. Gary is my chicken. She's a white silky. She lays cream colored eggs. Named after Gary Busey because we'll look at her. She's awesome. So those are our backyard chickens. We have six of them. We did have a seventh which was an Australorp. Her name was Mushka. But when she was four weeks old, uh, a black snake got her. So we have the six chickens um, that we just introduced to you. So our strategy behind the chickens that we ordered for our first batch was cuteness for one, obviously, as you can tell from Gary, uh, egg color for another. We wanted to have a variety of rainbow colored eggs. And then the third was friendliness, um, mostly for the girl's sake, because I knew they would be interacting with the birds um, quite frequently. Now, um, I would say these are probably not all of the most practical of birds. This is kind of a sampler kit of birds, but I'm very glad that we went with the birds that we did. Uh, we really love them and uh, they're just really fun to, to interact with. So the second batch of chickens that we ordered um, are a breed called the Dorking. This is an heirloom breed um, that originated in ancient Rome. They're a dual purpose bird that supposedly has fantastic meat and they also have good egg laying qualities. Uh, the reason we chose the Dorking is because we have more of a strategy behind our next batch of chickens, which is to have a self-proliferating flock of chickens. So what we plan on doing is doing kind of what they did back in the olden days, which is um, have our chickens raise their own young, and then once we get up to winter time, call most of the flock, and then keep a handful of birds to start the next, um, the next flock in the spring. And we're going to continue to do that. Now, I don't know if the Dorkings are going to work, are not so we got a test batch so we have three females and one male that are coming in in the spring so we'll just see how those work out for us um, and of course we're going to keep our uh, our first batch of layer birds as well as those so they will be laying the majority of our eggs and then we'll test out the dorkings to see how they are now there are a lot of different strategies behind choosing your flock uh, a lot of people will have just a layer flock because they're interested in having a lot of eggs maybe they sell eggs on the side um, and then some people have order in meat birds and they will order 25 to 50 birds such as the Cornish Cross or Rainbow Rangers. Um, they will raise those for eight to 10 weeks and then call the whole flock and that's their meat for the winter. Um, our strategy here is to try and do everything internally and we wanna rely uh, on outside sources um, the least amount as possible. So self-sustainable is our goal here. So that's why we chose the birds that we chose. Now, of course, our, our egg laying flock is going to remain our egg laying flock and then we're going to have the Dorkings that may replace these birds. I don't know if I'm going to interbreed the Dorking with any of these birds. Actually the Orpington uh, is a descendant of the Dorking. Uh, I might cross those but for right now I'm planning on keeping the Dorkings, uh, they're, all the birds will be together but I'm planning on breeding the Dorkings separate from the, our layer birds and our layer birds are, are basically our first batch pet, pet birds. Um, so. And that's our strategy. The first round was more just pets and colorful eggs and now that we're getting more serious about it we're kind of getting into the dual purpose birds um, and we want to try and keep that you know all here on the farm if we can. Uh, one quick tip if you are planning on ordering birds for the first time 
right now, November and, uh, November and December are the times to be ordering your birds if you're ordering from a, a mail order commercial hatchery because they do start filling up. Uh, when I did order my Dorkings, they were already booked up uh, through April 10th. So now that it's the beginning of, and I ordered them the end of November. So now it's the beginning of December, they're gonna start filling up. So if you guys are interested in ordering birds, do it now. Because especially if you want a variety of birds or any kind of specialty birds. So there you go, guys. Uh, that's what we do. I'd be interested in knowing what you, what you guys do. Leave your questions or comments below as well. And if you like this kind of stuff, um, like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hi, it's Jamie from Gilbrook Farm. Let's talk about our backyard chicken breeds. Did you just bite me? <laughs> the Dorking is an heirloom chicken that stems from ancient Rome. I'll let Tammy go.